It's me. Yep. Guess who? No. I am not Tony the Tiger. No. And I am not... No, I'm not a Smurf. I'm Pretty Bird. You ask the question, they get to answer it. Well, I'm not any of those things. So, tell us about Saul. Well, yeah. A little more about Saul. See, um, well, things aren't so well. Just launch into it. Well, God did not take Saul's kingdom away from him as soon as he had disobeyed. And, 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 show, and that showed that he was not the right kind of man to lead God's people. Uh-oh, he's going to lay in wait for him. Continue. Well, that's what Saul did. He continued to be king and lead the Israelites in many battles. But Samuel, remember him, he's the prophet. He knew that God's spirit was not with Saul anymore. Just a really bad aura. What's that? Feeling all around you. Yeah. He, he waited for God to show him who the new king would be. Yep. Yep. Sometimes you just got to put up with what you created. There's a saying for that. Yeah, I know. You, you made your bed, now you got to sleep in it. Mm-hmm. Well, one day, God sent Samuel down to the house of a man named Jesse. And he took, I don't know what they were doing there, having lunch maybe. He told Samuel to take with him some oil, like that, that which he had used to anoint Saul the king. Uh-oh. Then God was going to show Samuel who he had chosen to be the new king. <gasps> Jesse! Uh, no. Keep going. Now, Samuel knew that Saul would be very angry if he heard that he was going to anoint a new king. So, when he went to Jesse's house in Bethlehem, <gasps> I know. That's where Jesus gets born, in Bethlehem. Bethlehem. No, Bethlehem. I have no tongue. I say no THs. It's Bethlehem. Fine. He acted as though he was going just to offer some sacrifices there. Very, um, that word, nonchalant. Yeah, nonchalant. Do, 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 do. Yeah, never mind. Everything's normal. Nothing to see here, people. Mm-hmm. And when he arrived in Bethlehem, guess what? What? Samuel invited Jesse and his sons to come to the, to the sacrifice. Oh, okay. They're doing some traditional things. Mm -hmm. As Jesse walked in, Samuel was pleased to see that he had seven. There's that number again. Seven fine-looking sons with him. No girls? Didn't say so. Okay. Surely one of these young men was the new king God had chosen. Oh, yeah. Starting with the oldest, the son walked in front of Samuel. Is this a fashion show? Nope. It's just a greeting. As each one passed, Samuel thought, this must be the one God wants me to anoint. But all seven passed by. And God gave Samuel mm -mm, no, no brain idea, no sign. Bad feeling. Then he says, Samuel asks, Jesse, are these all your sons? And Jesse said, uh, no, no, not really. There's one more, but he is very young. He is in the fields taking care of the sheep. Send for him, Samuel said. Oh, I remember somebody else who had a very young son, kind of youngish, and, and yeah. Mm-hmm. What was his name? Joseph. Mm-hmm. And what was the younger, younger son? A Benjamin. Oh. This is, I will wait until he comes. He's going for the young one. 
Probably. After a while, the youngest son came in like, huh, what do you want? I didn't do nothing. I didn't do nothing. And, and he was he was handsome and strong and, and he had a really healthy color from staying outdoors in the daytime. Yeah, he was like, uh, who's that other one? Esau. Yeah, he was like Esau. His name was, get ready, David. So when David walked in, God told Samuel, anoint this one. He's the one I have chosen. Boy, I can imagine probably Samuel was scratching his head going, what? Are you serious? And in front of his brothers and his father, David had, had oil poured upon his, little, on his head by Samuel. And the spirit of the Lord that had left Samuel came upon David. Ooh, he got a warm fuzzy. Mm -hmm. But no one else, especially Saul, knew about this new king, David. Mm -hmm. He went back to his sheep in the fields to wait for the time to come when he would become the leader of God's people. Oh, they're going to mature him a little bit. Mm -hmm. He's going to sit on the secret. Mm -hmm. Them brothers are not going to be happy with him. Maybe not. That's the way it is. Brothers. Yeah, there's a word for that. What? Sibling rivalry. Keep reading about David. Well, while David wandered about the hillsides and the meadows watching his sheep, God was with him. He was strong and he could protect his sheep from the wild animals that tried to eat them. Yeah, I don't want to talk about that. I know. Birds, cats, I got it. Dogs. Cats. But he also had time to sit quietly and think about God. <gasps> he sat quietly like you told me to do. So he could hear the voice of God in his little heart. Mm -hmm. He thought about the kind of man that God, that the king God wanted him to be. And, and the more he thought about this, the more God helped him to be just the way he should. Mm -hmm. During these quiet times, when he sat and thought, What are you doing? I'm thinking. David would take his heart. And, and make up songs about God and his goodness. He's a musician. Yes, he is. He could sing and play very beautifully. The songs that David wrote are found in, in the, the song book of the Bible. I didn't know the Bible had music in it. Mm, just the words, not the music notes. It's called the Psalms. Yeah, that's it, the Psalm, the book of Psalms. Yeah, it's a long one. Yeah, it is. In one of them, David talks about God being our shepherd and watching over us just as David did his sheep. He wrote about what he knew. Mm -hmm. You you may be able to say the words to David's song yourself. Here comes the words. Get ready. I need a beat. I don't have a beat to give you. Well, you're going to fake it. Bump the bump the bump the bump. Okay, you're not much of a rapper. Here goes the words. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters and restores my soul. You're doing pretty good. Don't interrupt. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name. Sake, sake, sake. It's only one of them, really. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou pair, preparest? Yeah. Preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. That already happened. I know. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. The end. Wow. I'm glad. Kind of. Be nice. <laughs> okay. That is a very famous bunch of Bible verses. I know. It's the 23rd Psalm. Yeah. A lot of people memorize it. Mm -hmm. But they never sing it like me. Yeah. Okay. You know what? Consider that a good night song, kitties. Yeah. David's 
going to get another song sung about him in kindergarten. Mm-hmm. Only a boy named David. Only a little brook. Shh, 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 shh. We're not ready for it yet, are we? No. Okay, forget I said that. All right, snuggle down. Pull the covers up. And dream.